So at Particle, we're building one API that connects to every medical record and beyond across the United States. Uh, the challenges most startups today, and even medium and large size healthcare companies, have a lot of trouble getting access to the data they need, the medical information and, and medical records they need to treat patients appropriately. Um, historically, it's been done by fax machine. That's still the most popular way to do it. And API solutions offer a really unique way to solve that problem. There's been three big pushes uh, over the last uh, pretty much decade. First one was called Meaningful Use, which was an EMR requirement to share information with patients. It's been rebranded by the, the government as promoting interoperability. Um, the second big piece was a rule called anti-information blocking under the 21st Century Cures Act, uh, which was Obama's last act out of office. Uh, this, like it sounds, is blocking the uh, is removing the blockers from accessing information across the EMR vendors and the, the providers um, and the insurance companies as well. And then the last piece, uh, which is a more recent development, is called TEFCA, which stands for the Trusted Exchange Framework and Common Agreement. And this is a rule that is establishing a way to exchange information across the United States in a safe way. The dream is, as a patient, you can go anywhere you want and do anything you need to do without having to go collect your medical records or run into the kind of bureaucracy of having to get information from A to B. Um, and that ranges from going to see a new doctor and having all your information available before you get there so you don't have to fill out forms and the doctor knows what meds you're on and the, inf the information is available so that they can treat you in a highly personalized way in a really, e in a really easy fashion. Um, and it extends all the way outside of health, you know, traditional healthcare into things like life insurance underwriting. If you're signing up for a new policy, they have to go collect your medical records and they do it by fax machine today. And it can take months to do that and cost hundreds of dollars. Um, Beyond that kind of was where the imagination starts to get you know, exciting. Um, what consumer facing applications could be built in the same way that Venmo, Mint, and Robinhood were built in finance when Plaid kind of got going? Um, and that's where we're really focused at Particle, is what could happen if your information can easily be sent from A to B. It's been a long road building at Particle. This is not a simple product. Um, you know, we're a little over three years uh, old and we're just getting the product to a really solid foundation today. Um, the big thing that we've somewhat recently launched is the ability to create an API that, that our users can ask very specific questions. Um, so instead of saying, give me all of the medical information on Bob, our API can now be asked questions like, what were their most recent medications? What, were that, what was the last three encounters this patient had? Um, what was their last doctor? Um, getting really granular about API queries is where the value starts to come in. You can, asking specific questions means you get very specific answers, which means you can do very uh, specific things. Um, and so that's where we're really excited because the, the product is getting really uh, sophisticated in nature and our customers can use it in very sophisticated ways. So this has been my main focus over the last, you know, three, four months is really building out this team. Um, we have new leadership across the board. Um, you know, we just hired uh, uh, Steve Swank, who is the chief revenue officer at DataVant prior. Um, so we're really excited about having some um, new folks on the team to really uh, build out their own functions, whether it's sales, customer success, product, uh, and VP of engineering. Um, this is our big push right now. I think if we get the right people in place, then magic happens. And so that's been my big focus over the last four months or so.